World of Warcraft is usually seen as a cartoony game, however there are some things in WoW that are pretty dark and quite creepy to be honest. And since this is Spooktober, this is the perfect time to talk about the 7 creepiest things in World of Warcraft. So let's get right into it. Starting off at number 7 is the Sludge Fields. So guys, after Cataclysm came out, the Hillsbrad foothills was changed in quite a big way. The Forsaken has basically taken over the zone and the Alliance has a lot less of a stronghold as they did in Classic WoW. There is a place in Hillsbrad foothills called the Sludge Fields, which is one of the darkest places in World of Warcraft. The old farm that used to be here before Cataclysm has basically been taken over by the Forsaken, and the old human NPCs that were here have now been horribly mutated and turned into undead creatures. Pretty much all of the named NPCs you have here used to be Alliance NPCs, so they have just been horribly mutated and experimented upon, and this place is generally guarded off with watchtowers and prison gates so that nobody can escape. This whole place has a creepy theme, however the most creepiest thing that you can find here are the human seedlings. On one of the farms, if you look closely, you can see that some of them are actually human heads that are still alive. These are actually humans that are buried in the dirt so that they can be attacked by the undead. These human seedlings are basically going through hell and they are being experimented upon by the Forsaken. And there is a quest where you can either choose to game end them with a shovel by hitting them on the head or you can choose to free them. For World of Warcraft, this is quite an uncharacteristically dark place. Number 6 on this list is Whale Shark. So how many of you guys can remember Vashir? Now a lot of you guys have negative opinions of Vashir because back in the day this place was received quite poorly because of the inconveniences of its being an underwater zone. Dealing with the swimming mechanic basically gave a lot of people a negative opinion and since then Blizzard has never really tried to do an underwater zone on this kind of scale. However one of the things that scared a lot of people while they were playing in Vashir are these giant NPCs called whale sharks. These sharks are absolutely giant and you can see them from a very far distance and since they're at a distance you probably wouldn't assume that they're that big. However the closer you get to it the more accurate the scale really is. These sharks are absolutely giant and at the time they had some absolutely insane stats so that if they ever saw you while you're swimming around during Cataclysm they would pretty much one shot you. These guys were really intimidating back in the day. Today you can just one shot them, I mean if you're just playing a max level character today these guys won't pose any threat to you, but for the time these guys were really intimidating. Just the sheer size that they have makes them quite a scary NPC. Number 5 on this list are the Unseen. So guys this is a creepy thing that is in Classic WoW. Now this was taken after the world got revamped in Cataclysm, however back in the day in Duskwood there was a really creepy secret. Now Duskwood by itself is quite a spooky zone, it is pretty much designed to be that way, however even for this zone there is something that is so mysterious and so weird that a lot of people didn't know what to make of it. So if you go to Raven Hill, there really isn't that much activity. This is basically like an abandoned town and the only NPC that you can find here is Jitters. However, you are not alone. Actually, once you're in Raven Hill, you are constantly surrounded by invisible NPCs. And that is not an exaggeration. If you go into one of these buildings in Raven Hill and you start using an AoE attack, you will find that you immediately get killed by some mysterious force. My mage cast Arcane Blast inside one of these houses and he just mysteriously dies. If you go onto the combat log, it doesn't say what actually killed you, it just says that my character died and doesn't really say where the damage comes from. But clearly something is hitting me and I go into combat when I do an AoE spell. And the reason for that is that there is a bunch of invisible mobs that is actually in Raven Hill. So what exactly are the things that are attacking us? Since we can't actually see them, what if we use Detect Invisibility, a Warlock spell? By using the spell we can actually see what these guys are and it turns out these NPCs are really high level ghosts called the Unseen. As far as I know Detect Invisibility from Warlocks is the only way that you can see them and as far as I'm aware there is no purpose to fighting these ghosts, I don't believe they're involved in any kind of quest, it is just a weird easter egg that you can find in Raven Hill. A lot of people wondered this for a while as to why they just mysteriously die whenever they use AoE attacks while in one of these buildings and it turns out you are surrounded by NPCs just that you can't see them. Number 4 on this list are Fell Reavers. 
So when the Burning Crusade, the first zone that we went to was Hellfire Peninsula, this place was a really cool zone. This really did give you a good impression of the Burning Crusade Outland because of how alien the landscape was. At the time we had never seen anything like it and even today this is still quite an intimidating zone. There's just a lot of stuff going on here and if you look closely you can see some pretty creepy stuff such as the floor in Path of Glory actually completely comprising of skeletons. That in itself is pretty wild, however the most intimidating thing that you can find here have to be the Fell Reavers. Now everybody that has played the Burning Crusade has definitely been killed by a Fell Reaver before. These are just absolutely giant robots that are just patrolling the land. And these guys are such a high level and have such high inflated stats that there's no way to fight against it as a level 60-61. These guys will absolutely one-shot you and they move so quickly relative to your character. Despite the fact that they're so big, a lot of the times they catch players off guard. If you're just grinding on some mobs, just focusing in on leveling up, a lot of the times these guys will catch you off guard and will just gank you from behind. And you'll know when they're nearby because you'll hear the sound that they make and your screen will start shaking. But by the time that you notice your screen has shaked, it's pretty much over and they've seen your low level character already. The Fell Reavers are pretty scary in their own right, simply because you know if they see you, there's nothing really that you can do since the aggro radius is so big and they can move way quicker than you can. So whenever you're leveling up in the Hellfire Peninsula, you're always kind of looking behind your back to see if there's a Fell Reaver nearby. It's quite impressive that an NPC in WoW can give you a feeling of dread, but the Fell Reavers in the Burning Crusade absolutely managed to do it. Number 3 on this list are Null Tents. So for those Alliance players that have leveled up in Westfall, you guys would have inevitably fought against some Nulls. The Nulls in Classic WoW are pretty much dotted around the Eastern Kingdoms and they're quite a common mob that you fight. These guys are pack mobs meaning that they're very closely clumped together. It's not uncommon to see a group of five huddled around a tent and they can be quite challenging in that regard. However, a lot of you guys may not see why these guys are creepy. Now on first glance these are just your standard enemies in World of Warcraft and there's not much to it, but if you look at their tents you can actually see something quite disturbing. Now most of the Null tents are actually just normal tents, but some of the models actually have a human face in the stitching. Meaning that these tents that Nulls have are actually made out of the skin of humans. This is kind of an old fact but a lot of people have missed this and they never realised that the tents that Nulls have are actually made out of human skin, which definitely gives the Nulls a much more sinister vibe. Number 2 on this list are the Upside Down Sinners. So Karazhan Crypt is one of those unfinished zones in World of Warcraft. It's been in the game since Classic WoW. If you try and go into the Karazhan Crypt today and you die and go through the gate, you'll realise that there's another gate preventing you from getting inside. The Karazhan Crypt is basically like another raid that Blizzard has planned into the game, but they basically just scrapped it and left it into the game files. Now in today's WoW I'm pretty sure that there's no way to get inside of the Karazhan Crypt, however in Classic WoW it is as simple as dying next to the gate and resurrecting on the other side. This is a big spooky crypt and it is creepy in its own regard, however the creepiest aspect of this place has to be the upside down sinners. This is an underwater zone which is just a giant pool of water with a bunch of hooks coming down from the ceiling. On these hooks there are chained bodies that are floating upwards. These bodies must have been here for a very long time and who knows who put them here. This is just a really dark part of the World of Warcraft map and I'm pretty sure that's why Blizzard have tried a lot of ways to wall people off from not accessing this place because this is more similar to a horror game than it is to World of Warcraft. To this day we still do not know what the Karazhan Crypt was really about. As to the lore behind the place we have no idea who created this or why this is here but whatever the case whoever made this crypt is a pretty scary guy. Okay, so number one on this list is Stitches. So all of you Alliance players that have been playing Classic WoW will know exactly what I am talking about. In Duskwood, this place is supposed to be spooky, but one of the scariest parts about this zone is that at pretty much any point if you're traveling on the road, you can be attacked by a relatively high level elite abomination called Stitches. 
Now Stitches gets spawned after finishing a quest, he basically goes from Raven Hill all the way to Darkshire. And yes, he will gank anybody that is in his way. And considering that if you're in the zone, you will probably be level 20 to 30 and will aggro you from a very far distance. What makes this NPC more surprising is that he actually patrols across the roads, meaning that the old common knowledge of roads being safer to travel on is actually flipped on its head. If you're in Duskwood and traveling on a road, at any given time you could see Stitches that will basically just run up to you and one-shot you. Stitches will go all the way from Raven Hill to Darkshire and will basically just fight against the gods and any players there. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Happy Halloween.